Hello and welcome to LWS 008 Entertainment Law. I'm the unit coordinator, Peter Black. And I'm Professor Des Butler. The purpose of this podcast is just to give you a brief welcome to the unit and also to outline a little bit about the content, the assessment and our expectations for this unit. But let me begin with by acknowledging the traditional owners. In keeping with the spirit of reconciliation, I acknowledge the Turrbal, Yagara, Kabi Kabi and Jinibara peoples as the traditional owners of the lands where QUT now stands and recognise that these have always been places of teaching and learning. I wish to pay respect to their elders, past, present and emerging, and acknowledge the important role Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people continue to play within the QUT community. So if we look at the schedule that we'll be following this semester, uh, you'll see that the course is divided into three parts. The first part is uh, an area consisting of a number of uh, topics that we group together under the uh, title of free expression and its limits. So we're going to start by looking at free expression, that is free speech, uh, and then look at uh, topics including defamation, vilification, that's been in the news lately, obscenity and censorship, a little bit of pornography in there too, confidentiality and privacy. After the, uh, those weeks on free expression, we'll move to consider intellectual property. We'll be focusing mainly uh, on copyright law, but we'll also touch upon some other areas of IP law, including trademarks and also designs. And then we'll finish the semester with a look at contract law. And we'll be doing topics uh, such as contract formation, invalidation of contracts, content of contract, and contract discharge and remedies. Now, those of you that did LWS 009, Introduction to Law, will probably notice a bit of overlap with the material that was covered in that unit. That's not a bad thing, because it does stress how very important this area of law is to your future careers. Also, uh, we'll be taking a different approach to covering this material, so you may find that we tease out some of the nuances a little bit more in this unit. And finally, it's important because not all of you have actually done LWS 009. Uh, a big welcome there to BSB 111 students. Uh, so it's important that we're all on the same page, as the Americans like to say. We'll be finishing the semester with a negotiation exercise. Uh, that's done in week 13. Now, it's very important that everyone comes along to that class. We're going to be recording uh, a summary of the discussions held in the various workshops. Uh, so if you can't make it to the workshop, you'll still have that recording. We understand that some of you have work and other uh, commitments. But for week 13, it's important that everyone comes along. So even those of you that uh, do only listen to the uh, recordings of the summaries of the workshops, it's very important you come along too. So hopefully by now you have discovered the Blackboard page for this unit. Uh, on that Blackboard page, I'd just like to highlight two things for the moment. Uh, the first is that the workbook um, is or will be available on that Blackboard site, which we'll be working through throughout the semester, so you should download that. Uh, and also make sure that you check the announcements for any updates relating to the content, the podcasts, or the assessment in this unit. Also, if you're on Twitter, uh, check out the hashtag LWS008, where I'll be posting interesting links and news items and stories that is relevant to the content we'll be considering in this unit. So, how should you study this unit? Well, we suggest these four things. Firstly, watch or listen to the video podcasts we'll be posting. There'll be uh, podcasts pretty much for each of the uh, separate topics. Secondly, read the workbook summaries of the legal principles that are relevant to the various areas and any readings that we direct you to. Thirdly, read and attempt the workshop questions. And fourthly, to attend and participate in the workshops. Now we know that some of you have work or other commitments that may prevent you coming over to Gunn's Point to uh, participate in the workshops. We're going to be recording uh, summaries of the discussions that we have in those workshops so that you'll have a resource there that you can turn to. If you're going to go down that track though, 
we do recommend that you make an attempt at answering the workshop questions first before you listen to those recordings. Turning then to assessment, there are three items of assessment in this unit, a group poster, a negotiation exercise and a final exam. The first assessment item is a group poster that is worth 25% of your final mark and is due in week 9. Now I'm going to post more information about that item of assessment in a separate podcast in week 1. However, for now, just note that first of all, you will need to join um, with some of your peers in small groups to work on that item of assessment, and that you will also have to select a topic based upon the material or the topics from weeks 1 through to 7. So have a look again at those topics from the schedule and begin to think if there's anything that you would like uh, to consider for your group poster. Now the second item of assessment is the 15% negotiation exercise. Now, as I said earlier, you do that in week 13. It's very important that you actually make your arrangements so that you can be in class in that week. Unfortunately, it's an exercise that, by virtue of its nature, can't be taken at a different time, and you can't defer it. So it's important that you be uh, in the class and punctual in your attendance in that week uh, so that you can actually get marks for that item of assessment. I'll also be posting a podcast close to the time that gives you further information on the exercise. And then the final item of assessment is the exam that will be held in the exam block at the end of the semester. That exam will be made up primarily of multiple choice questions as well as two or three short answer questions. But again, we'll make more information available about that exam uh, closer to the time. So what's our goal in this unit? Well, it's not to make you into a lawyer. God knows we have enough of that. Yes, we don't want to do that. (laughs) Uh, No, instead, it's to help you to become a better client. By that, what we mean is that uh, it may allow you to avoid some pitfalls in advance. So to give you that sort of foundation knowledge that you can uh, be aware of things and head off some uh, stuff before it turns nasty. And also it means that if, by chance, you really do need to consult a lawyer, Uh, at least you'll be better informed uh, and have a better uh, dialogue with that lawyer. And that can be cheaper in the long run. Mm -hmm. So welcome aboard. And we hope you have an enjoyable and rewarding journey through this very interesting area of entertainment law.